Welcome to a quick video tutorial on using function notation in Desmos. Let's begin with a quadratic function, y equals 1 tenth times x squared. Now for one minor adjustment, replace y with f of x. What's the use of naming a function in this way? We can later call on the function by using its name. For example, if we type f of 3, Desmos will evaluate the function at x equals 3 and display the result. Similarly, if we add a table and enter several x values, and then define our second column as f of x1, Desmos will automatically fill out the entire column. Naming functions can be particularly helpful when exploring transformations, whether complex ones or simple ones like translating this parabola up one unit. To do so, just add a third column in our table with this header, f of x1 plus 1. Let's try one more thing to see the power of what we've built. If we change the original function, everything else is updated instantly. Say goodbye to our quadratic and hello to the cosine curve. Notice that our table is updated automatically, as well as everything in the coordinate plane. You can find more how-to videos, as well as our collection of interactive tours, at learn.desmos.com.